this is the Camellia, the Hymalus Shishi Gashira um, that was in the previous video. It's flowering, look, yay! How lovely is that? And it's scented. Oh, has a wonderful perfume. A bit on the rosy. Slight sort of sweet rosy florally scent. It's gorgeous. Got all the buds to come. Fabulous. I'm chuffed with this. We're in the middle of November. Wow, I'm crazy in love. <laughs> love the perfume from this rose. Flowering. Middle of November. How lovely is that? A few buds to come. And Strawberry Hill. <laughs> in for the sniff. Strawberry Hill, middle of November, wants to flower, and there's more here. <laughs> it's been a crazy year, weather-wise. Crazy. But we'll take it. I need to redo these. I've dug quite a lot of the summer stuff out, the geraniums and begonias and carnations and fuchsias and stuff and I need to put some, I've got some more winter bedding to put in these to jazz these up for winter. I've already done these. Just um, cut some hollies down and um, some, um, what was that, Cotoneaster over there. And I put various primulas and primroses and various winter bedding in there and the heather and stuff. That's quite pretty, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's jazzed it up for winter. Not as bright as the summer stuff, but what can you do? We've got some, um, just get in there and see. Hellebore's coming. Just about starting now. And they're going to be good. But the summer's just pretty much had it now. <laughs> Geranium is still flowering. Oh, I've put a lot of these away. For winter. And uh, I've just did this. Just a little display until we get some really cold weather and then I'll put those away again for another year. But she's a little beauty. Look at her. Gorgeous. What we got here? Oh yeah, this is new. Ha, my no dig bed. Oh, <laughs> and this finally flowered. We had a few flowers off this. October, November. Tibuchina. Actually flowered for me. I didn't think it was going to do, but it has. That's not an easy thing to grow here. But anyway, it did flower. I had half a dozen flowers off it, and it's still flowering today. Middle of November. Look at that. But this is the uh, no dig bed, which is great. I'm uh, quite chuffed with this breaks up the lawn and uh, just put some cardboard down and dug this um, log roll in and some squished up brown paper for the curves and uh, this is where it's it's going to break up the, the lawn, lovely. Just as we minus that in the sunroom or in the kitchen. Just there was too much. There was just too much lawn here. 
my initial idea was this is uh, Sophie's perpetual rose. Let's look at it. The middle of November. Sophie doesn't care. She's like, I don't care. I don't care what day it is. <laughs> oh, lovely. Sophie's like, I don't care. I'm going to flower. But the idea here was to um, extend Sophie's bed out and down. But then I thought about it. I thought it might just be too long and thin with two narrow paths down the side. So I changed my mind and went across the way instead. But I didn't want to have that straight line. So I was trying to think how I can get sort of more of a curvy effect going on under log roll. It seemed like a perfect idea and it's worked great. So under there is um, cardboard which we saturated and some um, thick brown paper which we scrunched up into all the corners and curvy bits. And then there's topsoil and compost and I've got a, a bag of wood chips here that we got from someone. I've got a big bag in here of wood chip mulch to put over the top and um, here's your bed, here's your no dig bed and I've just been placing some shrubs I've bought or had to sort of see what I want to do. I want to put um, roses and clematis going up these three archways here across this back here and um, a rose in the centre on that obelisk and various shrubs and perennials uh, dotted around in here and um, it breaks this little area up lovely I'm really pleased with that and no dig And we'll be on with um, this section here when we take this up because the the rows and the um, Acer Orange Dream are coming out from here and this is going to go through there and put some more gravel down there to meet up with the lawn at the other side and rehome this acer and this rose and the tree peony which has just about had it now as you can see the foliage is all going off that's getting dug up oh and there's Robbie <laughs> resident Robin Robbie hello are you all right Robbie <laughs> now you're in the tree. <laughs> Hello. Yes, I know how lovely you are. Yes, you follow me around all day, don't you? Yes. And you ended up getting locked in the garage yesterday, didn't you? That was a bit scary. But we got you out. But you're just a bit too close sometimes, aren't you? And this is what happens. You follow me. And then you get a bit too close and you get locked in somewhere. But you are lovely. <laughs> so anyway, Robbie, yes. So yeah, Acer go in and the sedums will get rehomed, as will this rose. And the cherry tree is um, going around the front as well. And talking of the front, there's um, been a change at the front, which I'm quite happy about. So I'll have to show you around the front. So that's a new planter that's been made for me to grow something up there. Um, oh yeah, that's something I need to do. Sack of cockers. I've got two big sarcococcus here that I need to get round the back. 
I've had these squirreled away around here because it's north facing around here. They don't like the, the sun at the back. But I like sack of cockers in the winter by the back door where you're in and out all the time into the kitchen. So um, I want to have them somewhere near that back door because the scent from these tiny little flowers, I don't know if you can see there, they have tiny, really insignificant flowers. But God, do they pack a perfume like you wouldn't believe. So I need to um, shift these and get these around near the back door soon because they'll be starting to do their thing. Not getting anything yet. But I need to shift those. Yeah, around here. They've got um, a novelist that I need to do something with that's just laid there on the floor. This is new, look. had this idea for where we park there to finish that off how nice is that railings aren't they cute and don't take up much room so I'm delighted with those because originally I was going to run a line of box all the way down there but then I had this idea of doing something else and I saw this railing for sale and I thought oh I know what I can do with that it's about 15 16 feet of railings and it's a perfect fit <laughs> so um, I think that's worked out fantastic. And it really um, edges off this parking spot here where the garden starts. It's beautiful. I love it. And it's so slim. It doesn't take up any room. It's neat and tidy. And it just edges this new bit of garden that we've put in. It just edges it beautifully. I'm delighted with that. And we've still got more to do here. More to dig out. More lawn to take away over there. And this is going to get redone. Obviously the, all these box and the hebe and stuff, they were here. Uh, I want to redo that whole section there and dig some of those things out. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but I don't want them there. But um, this has worked out a treat. I absolutely love how this has turned out. And it looks really neat and tidy. It's lovely. I've done uh, a few bits for winter, just put some lots of. Um, bulbs everywhere put hundreds of bulbs in everywhere all over the the beds and in containers and stuff and then this which are um primulas and stuff primroses i think not primulas primroses primlets and um whatever they are and this is a azalea and just a little cutting there that i did of the romans and um, I've just redone some window boxes with some winter interest, some pansies and stuff, heathers, and uh, redone these. There's a leaf there. Not as bright as the summer baskets and stuff, but there's some interest for winter there. Some colour. <laughs> Can't stop.
stop looking at this. I'm really pleased. Great idea. And it, it only takes up like, what's that? About an inch depth. So doesn't take up any of your planting space really, which if I'd have run a line of box down, it would have taken up a lot more room than that. Had the same kind of effect, created a, a separation line, which is what I was looking for. But then I would have had to clip it on a regular basis as well to keep it neat and tidy and it would have taken up quite a bit of space. So I would have had to go the other side of this bed and dig all that out to plant a, a line of box. And I think this is so much nicer. And um, it, it looks great. So I'm very pleased with that idea. How pretty is that? <laughs> I think that's a kaffir lily. Kaffir lily, kaffir lily, I'm not sure how you say it. And there's some more here. My neighbour gave me these. Dave and June over the road. Just turned up one day and said, do you want some of these? I'm, I'm dividing these. <laughs> and they're brilliant. And they'll just keep going until the first frost, I think. And they've been like this for a good six weeks or so. Brilliant. Really good. So I'm very pleased. This is an old obelisk that I've got to do something with. Not sure. Oh, and these are um, cauliflowers and onions in there. <laughs> these roses I've put in. <laughs> this is... Um, who is that? I'm thinking that is Ghislaine de Feligon and she's trying to flower look. <laughs> they only put her in this this summer. Probably August I think I planted her. Look. Ghislaine de Feligon. She wants to flower. It's crazy. And that's um, salvias and they're still flowering look. Roses are still flowering. That front of flower, look. The garden doesn't know whether it's coming or going. I need to sort this out. I've got a big mirror for there. I want to paint all this stone. Well, I want to paint the whole thing, really. Round the back, down the side, everywhere. I want to paint all the render. But this stone, I want to paint all this stone frontage. Um, I don't know if I'll do the very, very front bit there, but certainly this little dog leg bit in here. And I've bought a, a big mirror that goes sort of quite up and down that wall. And I want to make this um, a planting area for pots for aces and ferns and hostas and um, just have this as a shady area because this is the north side. And um, it's up against the house, it doesn't get any sun, but because this is a single storey property, um, even though this is north facing, it still gets a lot of sun. Once you're sort of out to here, um, you're in full sun pretty much most of the day because the property is only single storey. So you are a bit limited really for shade here, but this is the shadiest spot here. And I sort of just uh, squirrel things away here. I've got um, tubs and tubs of lilies um, that I've planted up for next year. Some oriental lilies there. Planted lots of bulbs everywhere. There's, I've just stuck them in wherever I can. Oh, they're just some onions. Um, I was digging out onions the other day, so they're there. A stew that we had. Need to move these onions. <laughs> Is there anything new on here? I'm not sure there is. Oh yeah, this. This is um this is a Berberis that I've just got. And it's a Lutin Rouge. Thinking it's probably gonna go in the new no dig bed. There's a bit of red interest. Um pop it in maybe with this. This hack on a cloa which has got quite a bit of red in it. I thought it was lovely that, I had to get that. Um, but that 
Burbliss might look nice with that. So I've all this to dig and get in and I've got about six roses I want to uh, pop in as well as a climbing rose so there's quite a bit to do there. Look these roses out look. <laughs> This is iceberg pink. It's lovely. And the scent. Yeah, you see, even even in November, you get a good scent from it. How lovely. Beautiful. <laughs> Little buds in there, look, hiding. Hello. Middle of November. Tell it to the garden, middle of November. It's just doing what it wants to do. <laughs> Can't pass masterpiece, can you, without marvelling? Dog to Sarah. Still not put her away because I've just not had that that sort of scare that that winter's coming yet. It's still been very mild, so but I will I will um put her away in the greenhouse when it gets colder and I've got this to do this is a dahlia at the things on here are to do another dahlia and I have various dahlias in here to dig up they're a bit got by the weather now I need to dig those up masterpiece middle of November don't care it's like a boss with masterpiece just there all year and look at the fairy the fairy's flowering and she's full of bud look. <laughs> it's crazy this weather. It's absolutely crazy. Oh some more tubs that I did. The summer stuff took it out and I just planted planted up with the winter interest really. But it's um it's quite colourful really to say that summer's over and we don't really have much going on now there's still a bit of colour around with the uh, with the winter plants try and extend that bit of interest with some colour and it works need to sort this out fuchsia clean that up repot it and pop it in the greenhouse I've got some more winter bedding that I need to pop in these are tubs that I've done of um, I think these are all bulbs in here yeah bridal crown there daffs there's a lot of uh, bulbs here that's something I need to get in that conifer still got a lot to do but these are these I'm quite pleased with they're coming on nice and when you pop when you come out you've got a little friendly bit of color to look at when you come out it's nice when you're walking in and out quite nice bit of interest good greenhouse I think is oh, that's something else I need to plant I've got some conifers in there that need to go in and more um, more cauliflowers here <laughs> it's cauliflower city this oh I've planted um, what is it? Eucalyptus gunnii down here. Cleared all this. Look at this. <laughs> that was um, a black currant, I think, in here. Huge. And uh, cut some of those down and planted this um, gunnii. How nice is that? Like a little thing there, that's going to be good. 
to grow up there and then we've still got this to develop. That's a Himalayan honeysuckle. Massive, with a few of them. We've another one there. I think we've got about four. Oh, and we've um, <laughs> put a little box up for Robbie. There's a little um, little birdhouse in your soul there, look, for Robbie. A little Robin's box. I'm hoping um, he might like that. He's been an adult look. I think he's okay with that. I think he'll like that. What else have we got? We've planted that. That's a, a fatsia japonica. It's a spider's web. And um, I sort of rescued that from under the tree peony. I've got another one that's probably going to go around the front because they don't like the sun. They do all right in the sun, I think, but they colour up so much nicer. You get that white speckle colouring coming through um, if they're in shade. So, um, and I think it looks nicer. It fills that space there. We sort of dug a few big things out from here. And we need to dig some more out, I think, and claim a little bit more of this back to there because there's a good probably 10 feet back to that trellis fence that we've put in before our field starts so we've got quite a bit we could do here these are just um, some bulbs I've put in I think what have we got here tulips and daffs in that one and we've got a bridal crown in that one bridal crown in that and in that and I can't, oh cheerfulness in the other one We've got a lot, a lot. And my greenhouse is full at the moment. But um, the tomatoes are just about done. But the sweet peas aren't. Look at this. Middle of November. And we can still we can still pick sweet peas. <laughs> oh wow. And they're still scenting marvellously. Can you believe that? We are middle of November. How crazy. <laughs> and these have been going all year. And there's still sweet peas on them. I just won't give up. Greenhouse. <laughs> full. Absolutely full. Look at these. I'm supposed to be um, <laughs> cutting all these back to keep for winter. But I come in here and the sun's shining. And these leaves on these geraniums which are in flower still, are stunning when the sun catches them through the greenhouse windows. They just glow orange and red, amber. They're just so beautiful that um, I haven't chopped all the leaves off yet. So I'm just having myself a little um, floral display whenever I come in here <laughs> at the moment. Until I have to which won't be long, they've, these, they've just about had it now. Um, I'll be able to cut, cut those back. But there's a lot in here at the moment. I'm, um, I've got lots of cuttings, Burberry's cuttings there, and all these are cuttings of various things at various stages, all down here. There's a lot of stuff in here. But... Um, What's the point in having a greenhouse if you're not going to fill it? <laughs> These are all the hydrangea cuttings that I took. Not thinking I'd get any hydrangeas to take. And all the cuttings took. So I'll be giving hydrangeas away next year. But that's the, that's the point, isn't it? There's a load of salvia cuttings down there and some conifers and stuff. And second suggies and there's a... There's a, a fudge, there's a Zabrina in there somewhere. And um, more geraniums that I'm keeping over for the for the winter. Some stunning colours. Look how bonny that is. You just don't expect that, do you? In the middle of November. To come into your greenhouse and be greeted by such vibrancy. But it's stunning. What's not to love? So I've got, I've got in that corner, 
Libra's um, three clematis. I think I've got a Comtesse de Bouchard, Blue Angel, and there might be a Prince Charles at the back. Although he's a king now, isn't he? <laughs> anyway, it's called Prince Charles, so various cuttings of roses. I've got dahlias that are drying out that I'll be able to dig out now. I think I've had this in a 10 days or so. It might needs, probably needs to be in for two weeks-ish to um, be able to be fully dried out. But then I can put that away. I've put a lot of um, dahlias and tuberous begonias already. I've got packed away in boxes in the potting shed, wrapped up in paper. So hopefully they'll be okay. But yeah, this is the greenhouse at the moment, full, the end of the tomatoes, which have just about had it, but there's still some to ripen. And if we do get the odd sunny day like we did this weekend, I mean, these were green last week, but we've literally had hundreds, <laughs> hundreds of tomatoes off these plants. They've been amazing. First time ever growing tomatoes. And I will definitely do it again because we've had hundreds and hundreds, but these can come out now and I've room for more uh, shelving, which will be more use to me over winter. And these, uh, these dying uh, tomato plants, which have given us more than we ever hoped for. So um, they've been fantastic. But that's, that's my greenhouse up to date. I think you're up to date with everything now. I can't think of anything else. And Robbie's not in there, is he? Like last time. Did I just hear Robbie come in? I just heard a flutter. No, he's not in here. Oh, he is in here. Oh, heck. Robbie! Out! Let, he's gone. Oh. I think he's, uh, he's safely away. But yeah, that's uh, that's a good update, that. I don't think there's anything else. This will be coming out soon in the spring, this Osmanthus. This is a fantastic scented shrub, which is why it's near the bench. Because when this is in flower, oh, it knocks you over, it's so gorgeous. Need to dig that out. Oh, look, there's a little creature there. Need to put that away. I've dug quite a bit out. This uh, soap wart's done well for its first year. Hello. They don't know that it's November, do they? They're still around. Everybody's still out doing the thing. But uh, yeah, I need to dig that out and plant this up with some more winter stuff. I've got a heather and a few pansies in there. But I just need to tidy this up and plant that up for winter but there's been no um, frost and I keep watching every day because as soon as there is um, I'll be digging this out and uh, cleaning it off and putting it in the greenhouse for winter but until the weatherman says nasty Mr Frost is coming might as well leave it out here and it's full of colour so um, why not? And that's it. Why not indeed? And I think that's it. I think that's a, an update. Mid-November. And um, the garden is um, still got some colour in mid-November. Which is going is it? Mid-November. Pretty good. These are great aren't they? These uh, rise and fall things. Just um, pull them down, do your deadheading and then pop them back up again. And when you're watering you don't have to get soaked with water running down your arm every time you're watering them. You can just um, you can just do your dead head in and um, just 
push it back up again. That's pretty good, isn't it? It's not bad, that. Look at that. <laughs> One-handed. Very good. And it's looking quite proper in there, isn't it? Quite like that. For winter, it's all right, that. There. I think I'm done. I just painted that this morning because it was looking a bit rough. I've had my plants on it pretty much most of late summer onwards. We've not really been able to sit on that because I've come and did it as an, an extra plant stand. So I just felt a bit guilty really when I saw the state of it this morning. So I thought, oh, I'll paint that. So um, I've given that a paint this morning and that looks a bit um, more presentable now. And I'm no longer using it as a as a plant stand. But anyway, not too bad for the middle of November, is it? Not too bad at all, really. Pretty good, I think. And that's going to be great. My no dig bed. Won't be my last. I've got my eye on one at the front, I think, as well. Galen. Still flowering. Middle of November. Doing her thing. Galen de Feligond. A repeat rambler. I got from David Austin. How good is she? Very pretty. I mean, you can't complain, can you, when you're getting into November? And we're actually in the middle of November now. No complaints there. Lovely. And she got hacked back when we moved here. This time last year we moved here. End of November we moved. And we had to dig her out of the ground and hack her right back to get her here. So I was, I wasn't too, um, wasn't too sure that she'd make it. But she's had a few flushes and she's, uh, she's survived. So very resilient, I think, roses. I think that's going to somewhere else. I'm going to redo this bed here and make it wider, come out a lot further out on this corner and rehome this salix. Maybe get some roses in there next year. The other side of this camellia, which is donation. She's a stunner, one of my favourites. Oh, and I've left, I've left Shisha Gashira here, look. I need to take her back round so I don't forget. And that's quite nice, isn't it? That Just a little bit of interest on the table. And just some holly that I've just chopped back. And it'll stay as good as gold like that for oh, a few months. As long as we're going to need it as decoration anyway, and then just bin it. And if you look at it, it might actually root by the time you think about throwing it out. You might get roots on it, so you never know. I've done that before cut some bits of holly for decoration, pop them in somewhere and it's rooted. So anyway, so a little last look at this beauty, Shisha Kashira, which is, uh, <laughs> can I put it on my newly painted bench? <laughs> yeah, of course I can, I painted it. There, look. How oh, lovely. A scented, winter flowering camellia in pink. Why on earth would you not? Smells amazing. Looks unbelievably good. At a time when there's not much flowering. I need to get a really nice pot for her. And pop her in a really nice pot so that she's uh, she's got somewhere nice to 
to live. I'm going to keep her in a pot because I don't want to put her in the ground just in case we ever did get a nasty um, cold snap. Um, she, uh, she could lose all her buds or flowers or whatever. So I'm going to keep her in a pot. Keep her trimmed so that I can keep her in a pot. Lovely. That's it then. Update I think is uh, complete. The middle of November. <laughs> middle of November. Not too shabby. Colour. Roses. Camellias. And even lavatera. Forgot about the lavatera. Look. Burgundy wine. Gorgeous lavatera. Burgundy wine. Middle of November. <laughs> Look at that. Saying, I don't care. Is it the middle of November? <laughs> I don't care, it says. <laughs> I'm not bothered. Is it the middle of November? Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs>